hello, good morning. I am just getting ready for work. Today I'm working a turn. So I'm flying out and I'm flying right back home today, which is great because it's the weekend and I wanna be home with my husband and the baby. For my first flight, I only have two passengers and they've requested a light meal. I'm just gonna do sandwich and salads. And then for the return flight, I have like a guy's trip, a bachelor party, don't really know what's going on, a bunch of guys. And I thought beer and barbecue would just be a fun theme for them. So I'm pretty excited about that return flight home. Plus I love barbecue and hopefully I'll get to eat a little bit also. So I'm trying to catch up with you now because generally when I work a turn, it's the flight, service, we land and I have like seconds, realistically more like minutes, but it goes very quick. I have minutes to clean the plane before our next group of passengers board and they're ready to be wined and dined too. So I figured I'd fill you in on the trip before I leave for the trip and I'll just show you what I can in between. So I wanted to show you the book I'm currently reading. I've got my hand there because it's my library info. I did not buy this book. I have a lot of thoughts on this book and I'm curious if you have read it, what do you think? Are you team Harry and Meghan or is it just too much? I was in the drive-thru line getting myself a little pick-me-up uh, when I was talking about the book. So I'm only 120 pages or so into the book and it's very clear he has deep-rooted issues. Um, obviously from everything he experienced as a young child losing his mother and being in the public eye during that time. And that is understandable and justifiable, I get it. But it seems like a lot. And I know he's gotta be going somewhere with speaking about her disappearing and not passing away. And I know it's building up to that. Like I said, I'm like only 25% done with the book, but it's an interesting read. I feel like they're doing too much. They're being a little too extra at this point. Like we all heard the Oprah interview. I watched it and I didn't watch the Netflix special. Um, obviously plenty of it was covered in the news. So you hear about it, but it's just too much at this point. My personal take is it's too much. I'm kind of sick hearing about it. I don't know. Am I too harsh? Let me know your thoughts. If you read it, if you're invested in the Royal family, if you watch the Netflix special, just let me know. So no more talking, gonna finish this coffee and maybe I'll have a chance to read a little bit on my flights, but um, I'll take you along on the private jet with me. Okay, we're back and it's dark and I don't know if you can even tell what that is. It's my empty glove box. So let me get in the car, turn on the light and I will explain what happened and I'm gonna put all my stuff back together too. All right, so we are back from our turn and I'm very happy to report beer and barbecue was a great theme for our flight today. Our passengers loved it. I think they thought it was a lot of fun. Obviously that makes me feel really good about everything. So today was a good day. Okay, so what I was showing you, last night, me and my husband and the baby went to the city and we went to one of our favorite restaurants. We took my car 
and I got a little chilly and I went to turn on the heat and I noticed it wasn't blowing hot air. And I just casually brought it up to our technician, the guys who keep us safe on the airplane and make sure that they're always working. And while we were flying, he took my car apart and fixed my heat for me. So I did need to order a part. He sent me the link. I ordered it. I paid for fast shipping and he's going to install the part to make it permanently work. But he was able to temporarily give me heat, which is amazing and so kind. Like he did not need to do that. So I want to say thank you, Chris. I know your wife watches. So I want to say hi, Denise. And I just appreciate it. I feel really lucky and really warm right now. And let's continue with the gratefulness. I'm grateful that you took your time to watch my vlog this Sunday. So thank you for coming along. Please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This way you don't miss out on any future flight attendant vlogs. I will be back next Sunday with a fun trip. So I'll talk to you then.